Hi everybody, I am the Little Red Goddess, and this is... Jada, here's the Worry Blush, and this is... Little Red. And this is my 12-year-old daughter, and she has decided to join us with the, for our To Be Red Piles for January 2012. And, um, we had a great year last year and we want to continue on with this year and thank everybody for um participating with us last year and making all the great comments that you made and hopefully we have a great year this year and maybe get some um new subscribers and if you're new hi and um anybody returning thanks for coming back and i hope you enjoy this this is our january tbr um mom has a theme and which is and my theme this month is cleaning clean uh, shelf cleaning the shelves. Yep. Um, it was going to be a series cleanup, but I also have some other books that were debuts last year that, <laughs> that I want to read. So we'll see okay. what I can do. And mine is Juvenile January, and Haven's is it's us getting back into reading because I haven't read in a very long time. Yeah, yeah. So we and we she wanted to join. Well, us. she reads, but she doesn't read like one book after another all the time. So. Yeah, and she wanted to join us and get involved with what we've got going on. So we said, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's get started. So, yes. Um, my first book, where's your book? Mine are all right okay, there. Okay, sorry. My first book is um, Illusions by April M. Pike. She's an amazing author. This is an amazing cover. If you guys haven't checked out her books, this is the third in the series. The first is um, Wings. And you guys should really check her out. She's awesome. Okay, mine is Awful N. It's the first book in the Eddie Dickens trilogy. It's by Philip Ardage, illustrated by David Roberts. Um, it's only how I, it's way under 200 pages, so it should be a quick read. So, and it's cute too. This is my uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kick book six. I got this uh, for Christmas. And I would recommend this to anybody eight and up because my brother hates to read, but this is the only book he actually likes to read. Uh, yeah, it's it's really cute. They're, they're cute, so definitely worth checking out for the younger siblings. Um, Tempestuous um, the, by Leslie Livingston, the third. I got the M this time. Did, no, I said Tempem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said Tempest. You said uh, No, I said tem Tempestuous. She always says I say it wrong. Anyways, but um, this is the third one in the Wonder Strange trilogy, and another amazing reads. There's um, a Shakespeare, um, fairies, um, a theater. It's just awesome. Each one gets better and better. Definitely one to check out. And April's writing is beautiful. So. Um, if you like Harry Potter, like love Harry Potter, um, this book by Jenny Nemo, Charlie Bone. And the time twister is really is way similar. So I mean, they go to a new, new school. They all have powers and stuff like that. Um, so it's really interesting. This is the second book I read. The first one. Um, it's quick read, big, big print, double spaced. Um, so yeah, maybe over two and almost like four hundred pages, but double font. So probably great book for um a little bit more what faster juvenile readers. Yeah. I got this a while ago and. I'm going to read it. It's a really quick read, and my mom sang this book, and it's my favorite. Okay. I've got... Did you even say what the name of it was? Yeah, it's Okay. <laughs> it's a fairy book. Okay. Then I got um, Cryptic Cravings, which is book eight by Ellen Schreiber, and it's a Vampire Kisses novel. Um, Vampire Kisses is a really cute series. If you haven't had a chance to check it out... Um, it's the goth girl in love with a vampire, and these are just quick, fun reads. Ellen's a really, really good writer, and her stories are really adorable. She loves them, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to so. read three graphic novels. Um, one is The Doppelganger Chronicles, and it's The First Escape. It's the first one by G.P. Taylor. It's got... It's a mix between an actual book and a graphic novel. Um, I'm also going to be reading The Lightning Thief by Rick Royden. Whatever, however. <laughs> Rick Royden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that one's just all graphic novels. I'm going to read Amulet by Kazu Kibushi, and it's this Sonic Stonekeeper. Stone wow. one. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's the late. art in these are phenomenal. Um, I just, the gra graphic novels are gorgeous. 
um, not just because of the books are good, but the art is great too. And she's an artist and she loves stuff like that. Okay. So do I though. I'm reading and these two bone books, nine and six, and I like in that order. This one, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, who knows? And I like this one because there's a purple dude somewhere or another in here. Well, she's only got nine and six. So okay. I don't know where the well, other one. Well, she's gonna go nine then six or six then nine. I, I have no nine idea. Nine then she, six, probably. <laughs> she got them from the book fair. That's all they had there. So, uh, and I put them away. Oh, uh, okay. What do I have next to show you guys? Okay, the next is one of my favorite series. It's So Silver Bright by Lisa Manchetta. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. I can't say enough good things about this book. I love Eyes Like Stars and was the first and then the second one um per chance to dream both books were just phenomenal the covers are phenomenal the author writes a tale that's so believable and so full of imagination it's just gorgeous it's a gorgeous story she's a genius so if you guys haven't checked this out check it out if you like shakespeare if you like fairies and a theater a magical theater that is the book for you. We got Pure Dead Magic by Debbie Glory. Um, there's three in the series, and this book is flipping hilarious. Um, I've yeah. only read like probably the first like five chapters because I've been reading it to like my brother and sister when she was little. I read it to her too, but it always stopped halfway through. So I'm actually going to finish it. <laughs> and they're really funny. Really, really funny. These two books are. This is Artemis Fowl, the comic book. I haven't read the chapters, but I think this would be really cool. And I like the holographic fairy in the glass fairy. Oh, the Artemis Fowl trilogy is amazing. I if hate you... it. It's and so good, but she's not a big fairy person. I love fairies. fairies. What don't you like about it? The whole thing. <laughs> yes, the whole I thing think is it's great. horrible. I think it's totally awesome. Totally horrible. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, okay. This is uh, Daniel X, one of my favorite books. I've had this out before, but I've just now decided to read it. It's by James Patterson. And it's really cool. Yeah, they got, this is actually a really good series. Um, and he does the Maximum Ride series, which she absolutely loves. I have two versions of each book. I put back in the cover. Yeah, so his books are always a fun read. The paperback, I read. The hardcover just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens too. Great, great series, though. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, that's another one that's a good one. Okay, this is a book that is near and dear to my heart. It is um, Str Reckoning by Lily St. Crow, and it's a Strange Angel novel. L um, Drew in this series is amazing she's fyi it's about vampires <laughs> not, angels. not angels she totally thought it was angels <laughs> not angels it's all good we, 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 we yeah okay <laughs> okay on the back i'll show you the other books it's strange angels betrayal um jealousy and um defiance my girlfriend's gonna read defiance and i'm going to read and and um then we're both gonna read reckoning this month but I'm kind of sad because this is the last one in the I series. I guess it would make more sense why she's always got that pouty face if I knew it beforehand that she was a vampire because of her teeth. Uh, she just now I changed think, think. in the last book. So. Uh, oh, I, I don't want to give everybody the away. Oh. Way to go. Way to go. Sorry. Spoiler. 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 The biggest spoiler ever. Uh, it's not the biggest okay. spoiler. It's just it, everybody knew what was happening if you read the books. The books are Flipping <laughs> amazing. Okay, I got Gail Carson Levine's The Fairies Return. And I'm having too much fun. Tales. I have got The Fairies Mistake, The <laughs> Princess Test, Princess Senora, Sonora, and The Long Sleep, Cinderella's, and The Glass Hill, For Forbidden Stake, and The Fairies Return. Forbidden Stake, I think, is the Rapunzel. Uh, Rapunzel. Wow. Oh. Okay. The <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin's one. I'm sorry, people. I think it is too bad. I'm not 100% sure, but Gail Carson Levine is one of the best juvenile authors around. I mean, her Elle Enchanted, all those books are just amazing for you, especially young girls who love fairies I and think princesses. my favorite was just Ella. Mine was the one, um, the two sisters of Bamar. Oh, I like that one too, but I Bamar, think I like just Ella the best. Yeah, I'll have I like to the read two this sisters book of Bamar. too. The book my sister's reading. Yeah, that's 
the, the oh. lost castle or the castle was it was too. yours but i confiscated it oh the tale of okay. two cities this, or something like that sorry haven <laughs> this is the keepers <laughs> book one uh a wizard named now and we'll now be able to complete the dangerous quest too who knows and it's by jackie french Co- Co- collar collar yeah, Jay if you plan French. to get married to Lucas, I mean, you should be able to say collar, so this is Keller. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said Keller. That, that is a really cute, that looks really cute. Nobody knows who he is. <laughs> okay, so my next, I, I guess I have to do this one. My next one is Blessed, and this is a combina- um, this is the third book in the, it combines the characters from Tantalized and Eternal into one book, and it's by Cynthia Lynch-Smith. And I'm real, real excited to read this, and I've had it on my shelf for a really, really, really long time. So I'm very, very excited to read this. So, Cynthia Lynch Smith, check it out. It's awesome. Check out Tantalize. If you haven't read any of her books, Tantalize is the one to start with. It is amazing. I think I just shifted your bookcase. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. You just shifted me. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> butt's big but come on okay the meanest doll in the world um it's by anna m martin and laura godman um pictures by brian zelnick um it's the second book in the doll people series and the art is amazing in this book and it's on every single page like even if it's just a tiny little piece of art and this book these books are awesome i i love uh doll people first one there should be a third one out that we have not got yet which we should get it Oh, I didn't get it? That's the third one. Oh. I'm pokey. Yeah. No, no. I'm like, gotta get the new one. Mm-hmm. Sorry. This <laughs> is... This is... <laughs> this <laughs> is the Dark <laughs> Diary <big> bottom. <laughs> number three. And I've read one and two, which you can see here. They're purple. Not purple. Yeah, they're purple and mm-hmm. pink. Yellow is a much better color. That's definitely orange. To let you know. Fine. Orange is <laughs> yellow is the most better color. For this book. Most better color. She's yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, and there's like p- pictures and everything. I'd recommend this to anybody who likes to read about depressing people. <laughs> it's a set it's up a lot like. funny, I'm joking. It's not depressing. It's funny and I really enjoy it's it. It's set up a lot like um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Kid. Yeah. It's the girl so, version. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, it's your turn. Oh, it is my turn, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I love this first, the first book of this. This is the second book in um, the, a, a vampire princess novel, and it's by Tate Holloway. Look at the cover. It's really nice. Um, I like the <laughs> glittery letters. But I've been dying to read this book, So, and i just been putting it off because the next one, it, the third one, isn't due to be released yet, and I hate waiting and waiting. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for this one. So... <laughs> Shut it off, Kaven. We got the Dark Hills Divide. Um, the Land of Ilion, book one. Patricia, yeah, Patricia. It's by Patrick Carmen. Um, it's a series. I have the whole series, so I might as well just start reading it, right? Yeah. Oh, there's pictures in it. Good pictures. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know there was pictures? No. <laughs> Did I say Tate Halloway wrote Kaven? this book? I don't know. No. I'm sorry if I didn't. Tate Halloway writes, writes that book, so. It, almost she Final Curtain. <laughs> when she reads it, she wrote that book. It's awesome. I mean, at least the first one was. So. Okay, I got The Devils. And I think it's a mix between Angel and a Devil, because her father's a Devil, I think, and her mom's an Aww. Angel. So this will be very, very, very interesting. So I hope if you ever get to see this book, you'll like it as much as I probably will. Okay, and my next one is a very anticipated read for me, and that is Isle of Night, which I've been dying to read it, but I've had so much of stuff in front of it that I haven't gotten a chance to get to it. Um, it's by Veronica Wolf, and it just looks awesome. And um, it just, I don't know. I, I've heard great things about it on Goodreads and a few other places and i can't wait to read this book i'm gonna be reading spellcasters um it's witch at the door it's the first one and it's by holly warner um i got these a really really long time ago and i never read i started reading this one but i never finished it um so i'm gonna read it um 
really pretty cover. So. And I have. Oh, I'm She's sorry. Hey, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm also gonna read these. Yeah, uh, Attack of the Fluffy Bunnies is very funny, and Zombiekins. Yeah, Zombiekins is very entertaining if you like zombie feeding um, your brain. Zombiekins is by Kevin Bolger. And Attack of the and Fluffy Bunnies is by Andrea Beatty. Yep, and those are your. She's gonna read them because she yeah, already I'm did. I'm gonna read them. You have the best. Okay. I can't spoil them. All right, I am going to read Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. I've been dying to read this. As I'm, um, I know I'm really into Irish folklore lore because we're Irish, of course, and <laughs> yes, the, as per the redhead, and um, I'm just dying to read it. I know it has mixed reviews, but I'm sure I'm going to love it. I love the cover, and I can't wait to read it. Okay, I've got Araminta Spooky, The Haunted House. Um, and it's by, I guess, Aggie Sage. And it's, it's under 200 pages, too. And it's cute. It's got vampires in it. So. Okay. And ghosts. All right. I and I'm out of books. Okay, well, I have a couple Just left. show them all together. All right, well, I'm going to show this one. Hourglass by Myra McIntyre, which I'm dying to read, which it was a debut for 2011. And then I have to finish the series is for my series Clean Up. Um, Hourglass series, I'm mean, not Hourglass, it's Hourglass and Afterlight by Claudia Gray, which I've been dying to, um, read, and it's from the Evernight series, which is supposed to be, um, the, the ending I heard is amazing, so I'm real eager to finish that up, and then this book I've started a bazillion times, and I plan to finish it this month. The trees, the trees. <laughs> the trees are gorgeous. <laughs> And it's by Ivy Devlin. I keep misplacing this book. How? I don't know, especially when it's this flippin' shiny. <laughs> How do you misplace a book that this that is this shiny, people? I do not know. <laughs> you're in this family. Yeah. And, well, you know, it's like, where does this book go? It's not that small. Uh, but anyways. All right, you guys. I hope um, you have a happy new year. Yeah. Um, well, it is the new year. I know. <laughs> okay. Have a good new year. Oh, that's true. Well, I'll have you guys. Thanks for watching us, and hopefully this video wasn't too long. And don't let them kick me out, because Jade says it's a trial run. <laughs> Jade, I love you. <laughs> if you have any suggestions on anything that you guys think we should be reading, or anything you guys would like us to read and comment on, let us know down below, and um, we'll, we'll see, you will see you later. Bye. 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 Thank you guys for watching.